Ever wonder what those mysterious peaks on a spectrum analyzer mean? Whether you're testing antennas, troubleshooting RF interference, or working with wireless tech, a spectrum analyzer is your best friend. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use one, step by step. Start by powering on the spectrum analyzer. Most units take a minute or two to warm up and calibrate. Some do this automatically. Just wait for the home screen to fully load before you begin. Next, connect your signal source. This could be a device under test, a signal generator, or an antenna picking up ambient signals. Use a coaxial cable to connect it to the RF input port, usually labeled RF in. Make sure your signal is within safe input levels. Too much power can damage the analyzer. Now set your center frequency. This tells the analyzer what frequency range to focus on. For example, if you're testing Wi-Fi, set the center frequency to 2.4 GHz. Adjust the span to define how wide a frequency range you want to see. For example, a 100 MHz span shows you from 2.35 GHz to 2.45 GHz. Next, adjust the amplitude settings. Set a reference level. This is the top value on the vertical axis, typically in dBm. If your signal is very strong, reduce the reference level or add attenuation to avoid overloading the input. If your signal is weak, you might need to enable the preamp to boost it. Fine-tune your view using RBW, resolution bandwidth, and VBW, video bandwidth. A narrower RBW gives you more detail, but slows down the sweep. VBW smooths the trace and can help reduce visual noise. If you're not sure, leave them on auto for now. Now look at the screen. You should see peaks that represent signals at different frequencies. You can use the marker tool to measure the exact frequency and amplitude of any signal. Most analyzers let you move the marker with a knob or touchscreen. Some models offer extra tools like Max Hold, which captures the highest peak over time. Useful for catching intermittent signals. You might also find Average Trace to smooth out noisy signals and a waterfall or spectrogram mode to see how signals change over time. Once you're done, you can save the measurement. Most analyzers allow you to export data or capture a screenshot using USB storage or internal memory. If you're documenting a test or sharing results, this is super handy. That's it. You've just learned the basics of using a spectrum analyzer. With some practice, you'll be able to pinpoint signal issues, measure antenna performance, or explore the RF environment around you. If this helped, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop your questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.